The Bay of Quinte Remedial Action Plan is restoring the environmental integrity and the long-term viability of the Bay of Quinte ecosystem. In the early 1990s, environmental damage that had been occurring to the Bay of Quinte for decades was identified and documented in a remedial action plan. This plan identified the environmental challenges that threatened the Bay of Quinte ecosystem and people's use and enjoyment of the Bay. Those environmental challenges were grouped together and called beneficial use impairments. The Bay of Quinte has 10 beneficial use impairments, and the Remedial Action Plan implements actions to address them. Benthic macroinvertebrates, or benthos, are small creatures that live in the sediment on the bottom of lakes, rivers, and streams. They include aquatic insects, snails, clams, and worms. The variety and abundance of each species provide indicators of water quality. Some species are tolerant of poor water quality, while others require good water quality to survive. In the early 1990s, benthos in the bay were identified as degraded due to a lack of species variety. Poor water quality restricted the species of benthos that could survive in the Bay of Quinte. As well, there have been historic land use changes in the ecosystem, changing the land cover from forests to urban and rural land uses, which changed the sediment base of the bay from gravelly to silty. Also, the introduction of invasive species like zebra mussels and round goby impacted the benthic communities. These are permanent changes that not only affected the Bay of Quinte, but the whole Great Lakes Basin. The historic land use changes and the introduction of invasive species continue to influence the composition of the benthic communities in the bay. However, over the years, there have been improvements to the water quality in the bay. Now, there is an abundance and diversity of benthic species that require good water quality to survive. Remember, healthy bay, healthy community.